Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are here again in my bedroom using natural light because we're gonna be testing out a new foundation. I figured we could just test it out in natural light, no studio lights, just my window so that you guys could really see my skin. You can see how everything applies a little bit better versus in my beauty room with my studio lights. So today I'm gonna to be doing a wear test and I'm gonna review the new Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation. Mine's already all dirty because it was in my beauty room. I was really excited about this because I'm actually a really big fan of their original Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This used to be one of my holy grails a few years back. So I'm curious to see how they're going to wear throughout the day and how they're going to look. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison today. I'm going to wear the matte one on one side of my face and then I'm going to wear the original on the other and then we're going to see how they look. The matte one looks really good. It says it's a 24-hour wear foundation, oil-free, oil control, transfer resistant, humidity, sweat resistant, and it's a waterproof foundation. So looks really good but we will see they sent me the shade warm beige which i don't think is going to be a good color for me honestly because i did get a little bit of color this past weekend again from the sun naturally but i'm not super tan but we'll see and then in the original i have the shade golden beige which i feel like is going to match me a little bit better but we're gonna make it work you guys already know so if you are new to my channel and my first impression foundation videos I do have combo skin my t-zone is oily the rest of my face is pretty normal to dry in the winter but typically normal and I also always like to leave my foundation shades in the description box so if you like to use me as a shade reference check down below I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you grab a snack and subscribe if you haven't already join the fam join the fun I upload three videos every single week I'm gonna just jump right into it because you guys know I'm a chatterbox so let's get started I'm just gonna press like I normally would just to again give the foundation a fair shot. I'm going to use the Milani Fruit Fetish Dragon Fruit Scented Setting Spray. I'm going to use this before and after so I can prep and set my makeup. And then to prime, I'm just going to use my Haley's Beauty Refine Primer. I'm going to use this just because it's a good pore filling primer and I feel like it's good with any foundation because it's not going to alter the finish of my skin. So I'm going to just put this on on my T-zone. That's where I have large pores. And then also right in between the brows. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. I have both of them here. They're just different colors. This one's the from the Retro Paradise collection and this is just their regular Total Face Sponge, but they're the same exact sponge. Also for packaging, you can just see the packaging is pretty similar. The bottles are different, but they both have the same amount of product in them. So I'm gonna do the Too Faced Born This Way matte on this side, which is my right, your left. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do the original. This foundation is supposed to be medium coverage and it's just basically supposed to last all day. Transfer resistant we shall see about that I do have some acne I don't know what's up with my skin but I'm breaking out so I wanted to do this foundation on this side so we could see how it covers up I know it's medium coverage but still it kind of smells a little bit like just like foundation like a light paint smell I honestly don't mind the smell of paint of like on a foundation because typically it goes away it doesn't last all day it's not too strong but it has like a little a little bit of a scent to it oh that blended in really quickly and really nicely the finish is looking a little bit more of like a satin finish which is pretty I'm really gonna blend it into the hairline because I don't know if this color really is gonna be that great on me I feel like it's like a smidge too dark I'm not super tan I got like a little bit of color this weekend but it's definitely doable and I feel like with concealer I could always make it work so that is one layer I think I'm gonna do like a half a pump see how it builds up it doesn't say that it's full coverage it just says it's medium coverage so I'm gonna do about that much more though just to see how it does build up it's like I said I have these little stubborn blemishes like go away like why are you so rude I'm just gonna pounce that in oh that's pretty it's not super full coverage, but it's definitely a really great medium coverage. It's very breathable, still feels lightweight on the skin, and it, I feel like it still looks like kind of like your skin, but way better. So it's not overly heavy or cakey, but it definitely did cover up, and you can see a huge difference between this versus this which is no foundation now on the other side we're gonna do same exact thing so I'm gonna do one pump which is what I did on this side which is about that much the colors are gonna be completely different because this one is lighter but again we are just gonna make it work I feel like this one is starting to look a little bit darker on my skin now that it's like settling and then again I'm gonna use the elf total face sponge just a different color
This one is definitely more on the yellowy side, whereas this one I feel like is a little bit more on the red side. This is drying down also to more of like a satin matte finish. I can like feel it. The original Too Faced Born This Way I love because the finish is very natural. It feels good on the skin. And this one has medium to buildable coverage. Also supposed to be like an undetectable foundation. So kind of like very natural looking, but still it's gonna give you that great coverage. I'm gonna build up this side as well just because I did that to the other. And I actually have a little bit of foundation left over still from the first pump. So I'm gonna just use a little bit more of that on my blemishes right here and I feel like that's enough. Finish wise, I really like the original more. I feel like it's a little bit more I don't want to say dewy, but it's more of a natural finish on the skin. It's very healthy looking, whereas I can definitely feel the matte foundation being matte on my skin, especially once it dries a little bit. It feels, I don't want to say tighter, but it definitely feels more matte on this side versus this side where I feel like I can kind of move my face a little bit more freely and it feels comfortable. I feel like the original also looks a little bit smoother. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So I'm gonna just do my concealer on camera so we could kind of see how it looks together and if it balances everything out. I think it's gonna help a lot, but I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. This one's in the shade 14. I tested this out this past weekend and I really like the way that this looks and it has really great coverage. So I'm gonna use some of this and I feel like this is gonna help also with, again, just kind of balancing everything out. I also didn't get a ton of sleep last night, so we're gonna pretend that we did with makeup. Of course, I'm going to use the same sponges that I used on each side. And obviously, if you don't like this much concealer, don't use this much concealer. If you don't like this much foundation, don't use this much foundation. Personal preference. I need to come out with an eyeshadow or something in the future that says personal preference in it because it really is. I feel like that already looks so much better. The concealer definitely helps just to kind of balance everything out, you know, so that it doesn't look so harsh and it just adds that little extra light to your skin. It looks really pretty though, the combo with the concealer and the foundation. This original Born This Way looks so good though. Like, why did I ever stop using this foundation? So this is what both sides look like. Again, I'm still gearing towards the original side, especially now with the concealer. I think it's looking so much better. Just more healthy, just more fresh more lightweight on the skin. The matte one is just, it's drying down a little too matte for me. I mean, obviously it's a matte foundation. It's not super uncomfortable, but I definitely am preferring the original foundation so far. So I'm gonna just finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back and we'll do a check-in and then I'll wear the foundation for the rest of the day and we'll see how it looks in a few hours. But so far, I'm kind of loving like the original more. I don't know but we'll see how it looks in a little bit. So I finished up the rest of my makeup. This is what everything is looking like. So I feel like everything looks a lot better now versus when I first applied the foundation. It was looking a little scary, but I think I was able to make it work pretty well with the concealer. Also, I do want to mention I did set everything. I set my under eyes and my entire face with my Collab Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder from Sally's Beauty, one of my favorites. I wanted to use something with a natural finish today, so that one is perfect. And I also did set my makeup and I used the same Milani setting spray that I used earlier to prime my skin with. So so I'm really happy with the way that it's looking, but I'm still kind of gearing more towards the original Too Faced Born this way. I feel like it looks a little bit softer. I love the finish of it. And I feel like the matte foundation side is definitely like nice and it's pretty and it had great coverage, but it's matte for sure. Like even just touching my face feels a little bit more matte and like, I don't want to say dry, but like a little bit versus the original that feels a little bit more comfortable and more like breathable, lightweight. It's looking good, it's still smooth. I just feel like the original is a little bit smoother, but let me know what you guys think. You guys have better eyes than I do and you see things that I don't see. So let me know what you think, but I'm kind of gearing more towards the original. So it is around 12 o'clock right now. I got a little bit of a later start to my day today, but I will still wear this throughout the rest of the day and I will let you guys know how it looks in a few hours. But I think they both look really good, but if I had to choose like so far, I would definitely go with the original over the map, but we'll see how the matte looks because I am going to go out run some errands. I have to wear a mask. So that's like the ultimate test these days now, 2020. So we'll see how it looks, but so far so good. So I'll see you guys 
guys in just a few. Hey guys, so it is now much later in the day. It is 7.07 .07 p.m. So uh, this is what everything is looking like right now. It's been about seven, a little over seven hours since I first applied the foundation and this is what everything looks like. Haven't touched up or anything. I was wearing a mask earlier and I feel like the makeup honestly is looking really good on both sides. I don't really see a huge difference and I know that my forehead might look a little bit shiny, but when I actually touch it, it's not oily. Like it doesn't feel greasy or anything. I think it's just like a little shine peeking through, but it's nothing crazy. Like I feel like I could definitely wear this makeup for longer than this and it still feel good. Like it feels comfortable on both sides. I'm still honestly gearing towards the original Too Faced Born this way. I feel like the finish of it looks really good and I just feel like it's more comfortable on my skin. The other one is nice. It definitely did last. It looks good. The coverage was nice, but the finish isn't my favorite. It's a little too matte for me. I definitely prefer something a little bit more natural. Something else that I'm very surprised with is the fact that the foundation foundation did not wear off on my nose. There's only a few foundations in my collection that I love that do not fade on my nose and I'm actually really shocked that this didn't. A lot of them do. For me, typically it's not a big deal because I will just touch up, but the fact that this actually stayed put through wearing a mask and through the heat and like the humidity today is actually really impressive. So I'm really happy about that because like I said, most foundations for me do fade. There's only a couple of them that actually last throughout the entire day and don't fade around my nose or around my mouth. So that's impressive. Both foundations, I think honestly, they are on point as far as the wearability the coverage and the way that they look on the skin. I think it just comes down to the type of finish that you're looking for. So obviously if you have oily skin, I would go with the matte version. I feel like it's a little too drying on my skin, but then again, I don't have super oily skin like I used to. My skin is definitely more normal. It's just really the main oil spot on my face is my forehead, but even like today, like it didn't really even get super oily in that area. So I feel like the matte version is gonna be great for my oily skin. People out there, you guys will love this foundation. I feel like this foundation is heat proof and it is mask proof for sure. And if you're looking for something more natural, but still with really great coverage, I would go with the original because I mean, this wore really nicely. They both did on both sides. So I am impressed, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I think it really just comes down to the finish that you're looking for. But I think both foundations, as far as wearability, coverage, shades, they're both really great. I'm excited to like use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation again. It used to be one of my favorites and I can see why, because it's really good, so. Double thumbs up, I'm impressed. I hope this video was helpful for any of you guys. Let me know if you have the original or if you have the matte, do you plan on getting the matte? I would love to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts. I think it's gonna start downpouring now, so my natural light is just completely fading away at this point. So thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.